Ever thought about how a guy like Hitler became the ultimate power player in Germany? Well, buckle up for a wild ride back to the interwar mayhem. Picture this, a time when the world was as confused as a chameleon in a bag of Skittles. Economic chaos, social shenanigans, and political drama were all the rage. So grab your popcorn and let's uncover how one mustachioed man turned it all into his own twisted Game of Thrones. Spoiler alert, it's a roller coaster of madness with more twists than a pretzel factory. Imagine a wounded Germany, licking its wounds from World War I, only to be sucker punched by the Treaty of Versailles. Crippling reparations, sliced territories, and a national ego shattered like glass. It wasn't just a treaty, it was a nightmare that haunted every German sleep. The resentment simmered like a volcano waiting to erupt, and when Hitler came along he didn't just exploit it, he weaponized it into a force so terrifying it shook the world to its core. The Treaty of Versailles wasn't just a document, it was a chilling prophecy of the horrors to come. Picture a world plunged into darkness, where despair seeps into every crevice of society. The Great Depression, like a merciless storm, ravaged the hopes and dreams of millions. Families torn apart, livelihoods shattered, and futures shattered like fragile glass. The once proud middle class, now reduced to dust, crumbled beneath the weight of uncertainty. And for the lower classes, poverty became an unrelenting specter, stealing their dignity with each passing day. In this sea of despair, the German people clung to each other, their tears mingling with the rain of desperation. The echoes of their suffering still haunt the annals of history, a solemn reminder of the human cost of economic collapse. In the darkest of times, a ray of hope emerged, shining brightly amidst the gloom. Enter Hitler and the Nazi party, not just as politicians, but as architects of a new vision for Germany. Their promise, stability, prosperity, and the revival of national pride. Hitler's charisma was like a fire, igniting the hearts of the disillusioned masses. With every impassioned speech, he gave voice to their fears, their frustrations, and their dreams for a better tomorrow. He didn't just talk the talk, he walked alongside them, a beacon of determination and resilience. In his words, they found solace, strength, and a renewed sense of purpose. Amidst the chaos, Hitler and the Nazis became symbols of hope, guiding Germany towards a brighter future. The Nazi party cleverly manipulated this volatile atmosphere, capitalizing on the people's desperation and their longing for a strong leader. They portrayed themselves as the champions of the Aryan race, promising to purge the nation of perceived threats and restore its rightful place in the world. Let's face it, desperation, anger, and some slick manipulation were the perfect recipe for Hitler's ascent to power. But buckle up, because we're diving deep into this dark chapter of history. From a humble corporal in the German army to a ruthless dictator with the world at his feet, Hitler's journey is as jaw-dropping as it is chilling. So grab your courage and join us as we unravel the twisted path that led to one man's grip on power and changed the course of history forever. What were the ideological foundations that Hitler built his regime upon? Hitler's ideology, deeply rooted in the pages of Mein Kampf and amplified through Nazi propaganda, was a toxic brew of extreme nationalism, blatant racism, fervent anti-Semitism, and an unshakable belief in Aryan superiority. His nationalism was not just love for Germany, it was an intense, obsessive desire for German dominance. His racism dismissed the notion of equality, promoting instead a hierarchy of races with Aryans at the top. Anti-Semitism, a vile strain of hatred towards Jews, was a cornerstone of his ideology, shaping policies that would lead to unthinkable horrors. Aryan superiority, the belief that the Aryan race was superior to all others, was the twisted glue that held these beliefs together. These beliefs, as abhorrent as they were, provided the ideological backbone for Hitler's policies and actions. The ideology of hate was not just a side effect of his rule, but the very core of it. Once in power, how did Hitler maintain control and influence over Germany? This question leads us to the heart of the totalitarian regime established by Hitler in the 1930s and 1940s. At the center of Hitler's control was a carefully constructed web of propaganda, censorship and suppression of political opposition. Propaganda was an incredibly powerful tool used to manipulate the public's perception of reality. From radio broadcasts to films, newspapers, and school textbooks, the Nazi party sought to saturate every aspect of daily life with their ideology. The goal was to shape public opinion in favor of the regime and to stoke fear and hatred 
towards those deemed enemies of the state. Simultaneously, censorship played a critical role in silencing dissent and controlling information. The Reich Ministry of Public Enlightenment and Propaganda, under the direction of Joseph Goebbels, monitored and controlled all forms of media and communication. Books that contradicted Nazi ideology were banned and often publicly burned, while journalists were closely watched and made to adhere to strict guidelines. The regime's tight control over information created an environment where only the Nazi narrative could thrive. Moreover, Hitler took drastic measures to suppress political opposition. His regime systematically dismantled democratic institutions and civil liberties, replacing them with a single-party rule. Opposition parties were outlawed, their leaders arrested or intimidated into silence. The infamous Night of the Long Knives in 1934 saw the murder of potential rivals within the Nazi party itself. Meanwhile, the Gestapo or secret state police was given broad powers to surveil, arrest and execute without judicial oversight, instilling fear and enforcing obedience. Through these tactics, Hitler was not merely ruling Germany, he was reshaping it. He was creating a society where dissent was dangerous, where independent thought was discouraged, and where loyalty to the regime was rewarded. Through these methods, Hitler was able to establish a totalitarian regime and maintain a stranglehold on power. His grip on Germany was so complete that it would take a global conflict of unprecedented scale to loosen it. Who were the victims of Hitler's regime, and how did they suffer? The chilling answer to this question unveils the grim reality of repression and persecution in Nazi Germany. Hitler's regime systematically persecuted various groups, casting a dark shadow on humanity's collective conscience. At the heart of this persecution was the Holocaust, a systematic, state-sponsored genocide that led to the murder of six million Jews. Men, women, and children were herded like animals into ghettos and concentration camps. They were starved, worked to death, or exterminated in gas chambers. The Holocaust stands as a stark reminder of the depths of cruelty and hatred that humans can descend into. But Jews were not the only victims. Hitler's regime also targeted other groups deemed undesirable or inferior. This included the Roma, a marginalized ethnic group subjected to forced labor, sterilization, and mass murder. It also included homosexuals, who were arrested, imprisoned, and often subjected to horrific medical experiments in the name of curing their sexuality. Disabled individuals faced a similar fate. The Nazis' T4 program aimed to purify the Aryan race by eliminating those deemed life unworthy of life. This led to the forced sterilization and murder of hundreds of thousands of disabled individuals. Political dissidents, too, found themselves in the crosshairs. Communists, socialists, trade unionists, and anyone who dared to voice opposition were ruthlessly silenced. They were arrested, imprisoned, or executed, their voices drowned out by the deafening roar of Hitler's propaganda machine. The scale and intensity of this persecution were unprecedented. It was a calculated, systematic effort to exterminate entire groups of people, to erase their existence from the face of the earth. But while the machinery of the Nazi regime was efficient, it was not infallible. Stories of resistance and survival emerged, testament to the indomitable spirit of those who suffered under Hitler's rule. The atrocities committed under Hitler's regime represent one of the darkest chapters in human history. As we delve deeper into this period, let us remember the victims and honor their memory. Let us vow to learn from history to ensure that such horrors are never repeated. What were the global consequences of Hitler's actions? Let's delve into the indelible impact Hitler and his regime left on the world. Hitler's aggressive foreign policy and expansionist ambition set the stage for one of the most devastating conflicts in history. World War II. His doctrine of Lebensraum, or living space, justified the invasion of neighboring countries, violating international treaties and destabilizing the delicate peace that followed World War I. In his quest for racial purity and territorial expansion, Hitler thrust the world into the war that would last six long years. The war under Hitler's direction wrought unprecedented devastation. Cities were reduced to rubble, economies collapsed, and millions of lives were lost. From the shores of Normandy to the jungles of the Pacific, families were torn apart and societies were forever changed. The human cost was unimaginable, with an estimated 75 million people perishing by war's end. But the horrors didn't stop on the battlefields. Behind the barbed wires of concentration camps, Hitler's regime committed atrocities that stand as a chilling testament to human cruelty. 
The systematic extermination of 6 million Jews in the Holocaust represented a genocide of a scale never before seen. The liberation of these camps by Allied forces revealed the unspeakable horrors within, forever seared into our collective memory. Yet, amid the darkness, there were glimmers of hope and resilience. The liberation of these camps signified the end of a nightmarish chapter in human history. It spurred the creation of international laws against genocide and led to the establishment of the United Nations, aiming to prevent such atrocities from happening again. The actions of Hitler and his regime forever altered the course of history, leaving a lasting impact on the world. The scars of this period serve as a stark reminder of the destructive power of hate and intolerance. They urge us to remember, to learn and to strive for a world where such atrocities are relegated to the pages of history, never to be repeated. What can we take away from this look at Hitler's rise to power and his reign? A story of exploited discontent, of ideologies twisted into tools of manipulation, and of a regime that thrived on propaganda and repression. Hitler's totalitarian rule was marked by systematic persecution and genocide, a horrifying chapter in human history that culminated in the devastation of World War II. Yet, amid the darkness, there were glimmers of resistance. Individuals and groups who defied Nazi rule stood for what was right, reminding us that even in times of crisis, moral agency exists. In the aftermath, we grapple with questions of guilt, responsibility, and memory. Holocaust education, memorialization, and efforts to combat Holocaust denial are vital in confronting the past and ensuring we never forget. While Hitler's legacy is one of unparalleled atrocity, it serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of hate, manipulation, and